Hi, this is Juan from Boynton Pro Audio in the Music Square, and today we're going to be taking an in-depth look at the Fishman SA330X portable PA system. Now this thing's pretty wild. It's 27 pounds, it's 330 watts, and the way the woofers and the tweeter are arranged, it actually has a really wide sound launching throw. So you can completely fill a small, a small venue or a small coffee house and even do some outdoor gigs depending on how you set this up. Because the great thing about how they've designed this is you can actually expand the unit and link units together. So let's go through the front panel. We'll kind of talk about how you can expand the unit if you want to, and then we'll dive right into some sound examples. And at the same time, if you want to hear what this sounds like first and then come back and listen to about it later, I'm going to put right down here at the bottom of the screen where you can jump ahead right to the sound examples and then come on back and, uh, and give all the specs a whirl. So if we look at the front panel, we have two channels. Each channel has its own low, middle, and high frequency controls. We have a gain control, which is that channel's volume. We also have a pad control and a phase control for each channel. Now, the pad control is going to reduce your signal by 12 decibels. So if you have a guitar or an instrument that has a particularly hot pickup and you feel like you're clipping the signal on the way in, you can go ahead and flip that switch and that'll take care of that problem. Our phase switch is going to be used in conjunction with our anti-feedback controls to help you get rid of any unwanted low-end rumbling, any high-end squawky microphone feedback, and you can kind of use those two together to tailor your sound so you're not going to lose anything except the feedback. Each channel has its own reverb control, and we actually have four different reverbs to choose from. So using the little button at the bottom, we can kind of go through, select which reverb, and then control how much of the reverb we want on each channel. Each channel has the option of a low cut, and what that's going to do is that's going to lop everything off below 80 hertz. So if you don't want you know, your, your vocals to be extra rumbly, or maybe your acoustic guitar to get a little boomy in the bottom end, that's going to go through and kind of like a parametric EQ, just completely lop that off. So you're kind of getting rid of all of the congestion, but left with all the rich low end that you really want. Each channel is capable of having either a quarter inch instrument cable in or an XLR mic in. And we have the option to mute the channels if we want to. And we can do this in two ways. We can do it via the mute switch on the front panel, or we can use a two button foot switch and use that mute to kind of kill off channels one and two. Now what's great about that is it's not gonna affect the auxiliary input, which we'll get to in just a second. So if you're gonna be changing guitars or changing instruments or gonna get up and take a break from your set, uh, but you still want music to be able to keep going, you can go ahead and hit that mute switch. So that way you can unplug your instruments and you're not gonna hear any big weird pops or clicks. And you're you're not going to have to reach over and turn your channel gain down so that way your settings that work great at sound check are still going to work great when you get back into set number two. Also located on the front panel we have our auxiliary in level control so that way we can control you know any iPods or laptops that we have having either backing tracks or music going uh, in between our sets or if we're going to be using this for a party and we're just going to be playing music through it that can kind of be our our master volume for that. We have a monitor in level control and if we look at the back panel now we can see how we can route this thing in a number of ways. So looking at the back panel, we have our auxiliary in, and we can either use a quarter inch TRS cable or an eighth inch TRS cable. We have a tweeter control, so we can control how much of that one inch tweeter we want in conjunction with the four woofers. We have our foot switch in, and again, that's gonna control being able to kill our channels if we want to, to be able to mute them. And we can also use that to turn the reverb on and off. We have a sub out port, so if we wanted to use this in conjunction with the Fishman SA sub, that's where we can connect our subwoofer. We have our monitor in and out ports. We have our accessory port where we can plug in our SA expand, and this will allow us to add an additional four channels to the 330X. Now, the SA expand doesn't come with the 330X when you buy it, but you do have the option of purchasing that separately. And again, we're gonna be able to have four additional channels to use with our PA system. And the great thing too is the ethernet cable is actually gonna power the SA expand, so you're not gonna have to use an additional bulky power supply if you do want to add those extra channels. So when it comes to our DI outs, we have a couple of interesting routing options. So this is particularly handy if you're going to be using this with a larger PA system or if you're going to want to be able to capture a direct recording of your live gig. So channels one and two have a pre-EQ DI out, which means that it's going to completely bypass anything that you're doing on the front panel as far as your EQ controls. So that way you're getting a really clean signal path. And if in the middle of your set or even in the middle of a song you need to reach over and adjust an EQ, 
uh, it's not going to affect what's going out of that feed. So if you're going to be doing something where you want to capture your live gig and you want to mix it professionally later, you don't have to worry about, oh no, now I've turned down the bass or I've turned up the bass and now my mix is needing more work. It's going to completely bypass that. At the same time, we do have a mix DI out. So if you want everything that's happening EQ wise to be able to go out via that feed, we can use that jack instead. So now that we've heard all about the 330X, let's actually get to listen to it. So what we did for this sound example is we recorded an acoustic guitar direct into our recording interface and then using a reamp box we fed that signal back into the 330X. Now the reason that we did that is we didn't want the sound of the acoustic guitar itself to interfere with what you're hearing so now you're only going to be hearing what the SA330X is going to be putting out. So we're going to go through, we're going to have a simple chord strumming pattern, we'll go through, we'll turn all of the knobs, let you hear how all the reverb sound and hopefully give you a really good idea of what this thing can do. So if you're a gigging musician who's after a high-powered PA system that's light, it's easy to move around, and it's gonna fill a pretty good-sized room, we really can't recommend the 330X enough. Especially if you're gonna add on the SA Sub or the SA Expand, you're gonna have a really versatile system that's really, really compact. So if you have any more questions about the Fishman SA330X, you're always welcome to give us a phone call at the number you see on your screen. We're always happy to chat about gear. And if you'd like to order one directly from us, you can get it at the website you see on your screen. It's www.boyntonproaudio.com. And if you have any other questions that you don't feel like reaching out to us directly about, feel free to leave a comment down below. We check those comments regularly and we'd be happy to help you out. And if you have any questions about how to connect the 330X to any of the other, either the SA Expand or the SA Sub, we'd be happy to show you. But it's actually super, super easy, so it shouldn't be too much of an issue. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel, give us a like, and we'll see you next time. Thanks. Take care.